Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be talking about language learning. I'm sure anybody who has clicked on this video is curious about what I'm about to talk about. Basically, uh, Rosetta Stone reached out to me, which is pretty amazing because Rosetta Stone is a very popular language program and I grew up with it when I was you know, in the 2000s, early 2000s. It's been around for 25 years. I'm sure a lot of you guys know what Rosetta Stone is. I'm going to talk about it a little bit for those of you who do not know and are curious about learning a language online. So today I'm gonna to try Rosetta Stone with you guys for the first time today. Um, I looked through their platform a little bit just to see how organized it was and it seems very legit. So I'm going to be going through a basic Japanese unit. We're gonna talk about if Rosetta Stone is worth purchasing. Now, the one thing that I really want you guys to know is to wait until the end because I will be offering something for you guys with the link in the description down below. So if you are serious about learning Japanese, I think that this would be great for you. So please hold on until the end where I talk about that and you guys can decide if it's right for you or not. I am not fluent in Japanese in any way, shape or form, but I am at an intermediate stage and I've been stuck in that stage for a really long time because I've been living in Japan as an English teacher and once you start teaching English, there's a lot of schools that don't allow you to speak Japanese to the students or to the staff. So because of that reason, I think I've been stuck in that same level for a very long time and my Japanese has gotten a lot slower. I have to really think about what I'm saying before I say it now, and that's something that I really want to improve on. So I decided to start working with language programs and I started, you know, whipping up books again and studying and reviewing things again because that's something that I've always wanted to make time for. And now that I do have more time for it, that's something that I'm looking forward to be doing. Rosetta Stone used to be where you like purchased it by calling a number, I believe or um, you would purchase it at the store and you would install it into your computer. But now they have an app, which is pretty amazing. I've never seen it before until they reached out to me. They said they have an app and then the desktop version is available as well. Today we're gonna be looking at the desktop version, but I will talk a little bit more about the app if you're interested in the app. Rosetta Stone isn't just for Japanese, it's also for other languages. So if you're looking to learn, they have so many options, I can't even say, but some of them are German and French, Japanese, Spanish, all sorts of things. So this is such a good deal for you if you wanna learn multiple languages or if you're learning for a job. The whole basis of Rosetta Stone has changed where you can learn the language anywhere you go. So it's so much more convenient nowadays, you know, 2020, that's how language programs have developed now, which is pretty amazing. I might get right into the video. I've never touched any of this. I just looked at the platform to see what it was like. So we're gonna go through it together. So if you look at the screen here, we have a very colorful look to it. This is the basic level. Now you can choose your level as well. You can change from beginner to intermediate to uh, proficient. So it depends on your level. So that is a good, that is a plus for Rosetta Stone because I thought it was just for beginners, but it is not. It is for multiple levels. So we're gonna go to beginners because I know a lot of you guys wanna start learning Japanese and they have all the lessons here. So they have lesson one, lesson two, lesson three, and lesson four. So this is the core lesson. So this is basically a run through of the language. And then the next thing that you go to is pronunciation, vocabulary, grammar, reading, and writing. You can also do extended learning, which is pretty cool. So we have play, talk, story. So play, you can play games with other people. So if you click on play, it'll go to this little thing. Um, so you can do it by yourself or you can do it with two people. So you can't unlock this part until you do complete two consecutive core lessons to unlock this game. So you can't play any games until you complete certain things, which makes sense. And then they have stories. The, the cool thing about the reading is you can change it. So you have hiragana and katakana, and then you have kanji and furigana. Furigana is, um, so you have kanji here. And then at the top, you have the small hiragana so it can help you out. Some of you guys may not have gotten to the writing portion yet, so you can change to romaji. And romaji is just the words, the pronunciation in English um, writing. But I feel like that's kind of pointless. Like I would not go for this first. I would try to learn some Japanese 
before you start Japanese writing and reading before you start this. And then the next thing that we have here is core lesson. So we're gonna continue this. I just clicked on it once, but I didn't get through anything. So you can click continue and then it'll take you to a, another page. Cool. So this is like the, Konnichiwa. yes. So it'll, Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Yay, so you did it. So it'll kind of test you on your pronunciation and how you say certain things. Onnanoko. Onnanoko. Otoko noko. Ah, oh, okay. So here it says jusu, jusu, and you can hear it. You don't have to be able to read this. So you just listen to what they say. So this is jusu, this is jusu. So look at the pattern. What's up here at the top is, which one is juice that looks the same as this one? So click on it. So ocha is obviously, this picture is tea. So click on tea, ocha. Mizu. So you click on water because that's the last one. Okay, so I forgot to mention, but you can click on the bottom to get the answers if you want to. So you can click that button and it'll come up as the answers. And then over on the other side, you can check how many you got wrong and how many you got correct. And then you can also change the reading. So I've been doing kanji, but you can change it to English if you want to, or, or romaji. So it's easier for you to read if you don't know Japanese. And then at the top, you can actually get a real live teacher. So you can sign up for some language tutoring if you would like to. Okay, so I just finished the whole entire first lesson. And obviously, if you go to home, you can click on your plan. So you can choose a plan and you have different levels. So we have beginner, intermediate, and proficient. So all of this is on the app as well. Everything is the same exact thing. So if I click on intermediate, I can go next and here we go. So we went through the beginner part. So choose your plan. Let's see, travel, family, work, basics and beyond. So we'll go basics and beyond intermediate view plan. So this is so different. So we can go right into week one, get started 30 minutes per day. It tells you how much you're going to be doing. Start your plan. Woohoo! So we're going to change a little bit into the intermediate section. So here we have the core lesson. So we'll go right into it. Click on lesson start. Now we're in intermediate lessons. So this is so cool. I'm going to change this to kanji. So kare wa kaiteimasu. So where, where is it? Kanojo wa yondeimasu. So it, it'll just kind of go brief you. We'll go back to learning. So this is so cool. So you can go to the intermediate level and you can skip the weeks. It'll give you how much you should be studying each day, five days per week, six weeks total is what you're gonna be accomplishing. So you can go to advanced and you can do the same exact thing. If this is too easy, I would go up to advanced, but the fact that they have different levels is pretty awesome. So it can be for anybody. I highly recommend if you're starting out learning Japanese, you're just learning from home or you're learning it for a specific purpose or you're coming to Japan just to travel, like just learn the basic Japanese level. So Rosetta Stone has like everything in one, very interactive. They have a way where you can learn with a person. So practice with a live tutor and speak with confidence. So this is so crucial and I'm really impressed. I went through the whole first basic lesson and I was just really enjoying it. And it was so interactive and fun and easy to get through. It tells you how much time it's gonna take for each section, which is so cool because you can schedule your lessons and self-learn that way and highly recommend. So I'm probably gonna use this for intermediate or advanced level just to kind of brush up on my Japanese. But I love how it is voice activated. So it's perfect for speaking, which is something that a lot of language apps and programs do not have. So um, out of all the language companies that I promoted, I think Rosetta Stone is my favorite. So I'm going to get to my offer. Rosetta Stone is allowing me to give you a chance 
to purchase Rosetta Stone and have it forever because they switched to a subscription, a subscription payment basis. So instead of paying monthly, you can get it in one payment. If you click on my link in the description below, you can get a good deal on your subscription. So you will get a discount if you click on my link, but you can also get the app for a lifetime without paying a subscription for $199. So if you just pay that amount, then you don't have to pay any more. And that is my special offer. And you can have it for a lifetime. You can learn any language. You can learn as many languages as you want if you take the offer. So that is what I'm linking down below. So I hope that you guys will benefit from this in so many ways and you'll learn another language and you'll learn another culture. Um, this in conjunction with other textbooks is so perfect. Or if you're learning um, in a classroom, you can do this on the side as an extra thing. It doesn't take any time at all, maybe 30 minutes a day, even less than that. You can break it up into little increments. So perfect. But I really wanted to give this to you today. Rosetta Stone wanted to give this to you guys. And I said yes, because everybody wants to learn the language. So once you buy Rosetta a stone um, in my link down below you have it for life or you can get a discount on your subscriptions whatever you choose so I highly recommend and I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed me trying this out for you because I wanted to do it genuinely and give my honest opinion thank you Rosetta Stone and thank you everybody for watching please like this video if you want more videos about learning Japanese or a study session with me or how I learn Japanese and um, any information on learning the language because I love it so much. Please subscribe, hit the bell icon for notifications, and I'll see you guys next time.